Toronto Star, 12 August 2022, India criticizes China for blocking UN sanctions on militants, as China funds terrorism in India, using proxy Pakistan. Pakistan makes a living as a render state, by renting out its army, terrorist outfits and its land. It is currently a Chinese vassal and provides terrorists to meet the needs of China. India on Friday criticized China's decision to block the imposition of UN sanctions sought by it in the United States against the Deputy Chief of Jashi Mohammed, a Pakistan-based extremist group designated by the United Nations as a terrorist organization. It is unfortunate that when it comes to our collective battle against terrorism, the international community has been unable to speak in one common voice, Indian External Affairs Ministry spokesperson Arindam Bhagchi said. Abdul Rauf Azhar has been under U.S. sanctions since December 2010 for acting for or on behalf of the group known as JEM. India says Azhar was involved in the planning and execution of numerous terror attacks, including the 1999 hijacking of an Indian Airlines aircraft, the 2001 attack on the Indian Parliament and the 2016 attack on an Indian Air Force base in Patankot. On Wednesday, an official at China's UN mission, who was not authorized to speak publicly, said that his country put the proposed listing of Azhar for sanctions on hold because it needed more time to study the case. He said the UN Security Council Committee monitoring sanctions allows holds on people proposed for sanctions, and there have been quite a number of similar holds by committee members on listing requests. In June, China put a hold on adding Abdul Rahman Maki, deputy chief of another Pakistani group prescribed by the UN, Lashkari Taiba, to the UN blocklist. Maki has been under US sanctions since November 2010. India says he has raised funds, recruited and radicalized young people to resort to violence, and planned attacks, including in Mumbai in 2008. The Indian spokesperson said on Friday there should be no double standards in dealing with terrorists. The practice of placing holds in blocks without giving any justification must end. It is most regrettable that genuine and evidence-based listing proposals about some of the most notorious terrorists in the world are being placed on hold, Bogchi said in a statement. Pakistan has outlawed more than 65 militant groups it created by changing their names, including Jashi Mohammed and Lashkari Taiba. China enjoys solid and friendly ties with Pakistan. Beijing is financing tens of millions of dollars worth of mega-projects as part of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. The package includes road construction, power plants and agriculture and has an estimated cost of up to $75 billion. India's ties with China have deteriorated amid tensions caused by a more than two-year-old Chinese aggression and standoff between the two countries' armies at their disputed border in the eastern Ladakh area. Both countries have stationed tens of thousands of soldiers backed by artillery, tanks and fighter jets along the de facto border called the Line of Actual Control. In 2020, 20 Indian troops were killed in a clash with Chinese soldiers involving clubs, stones and fists along the disputed border. China said it lost an unknown number of soldiers. Pakistan is a vassal state of China and is providing terrorist and logistical support to China in its war against India.